Hello guys, this is Svetlana from Kamui Cosplay and today I'm talking about my top 10 useful cosplay crafting tools I need to create my costumes. So the reason why I'm creating this video is because I'm getting a lot of questions from people who are asking me how to start with cosplay. So let's start with number one, the hot glue gun. I got my hot glue gun 15 years ago when I just got into cosplay and I'm loving this tool because it already rescued so many of my costumes, especially in the middle of the night when I tried to finish a costume just before a convention. It's super useful just to hot glue stuff together so it gets really hot and this thing is melting and then you just glue all the things on. And since it's actually getting so hot, be really careful because you get all the burning marks. I just got one yesterday number two scissors so I have plenty of scissors strong wobbler scissors leather scissors fabric scissors tiny little nail scissors which are rounded and corgi paw scissors I actually don't use them for cosplay but they're cute and I wanted to mention them you surely don't need to buy all of them at the same time, especially these might get pretty pricey. But uh, once you start working with a new material, it might be a good idea to get stronger scissors or finer ones or just to see what you are able to work with best. Just don't cut yourself because I did this plenty of times. Number three, the carpet cutter. Box cutter? <coughs> The box cutter is super sharp and you need to be really careful with it. But it's an amazing tool when it comes to making armor and props, especially with EVA foam and other foams. Just put the box cutter straight into your EVA foam and draw a slow and clean line to get a really nice and smooth edge. Foam dulls the blade super quick though, but it's important to keep it nice and sharp at any time. To do so, just grab a sanding stone and do stuff like this and then it's nice and sharp just as like at the beginning. So, number four, the hot air gun. This thing is simply a hairdryer but much more powerful. You can get one already from Amazon for 20 bucks but since mine is much more stronger with 2000 watts, I think I paid 80 euros for it or something like that. You need a hot air gun to work with thermoplastics like Wobbler and Wonderflex, but also to heat shape EVA foam as well as to heat seal the material before you paint it. Just be careful because this thing gets really hot and doing this here hurts a lot. Number 5 is the rotary tool, my trusty Dremel. I'm owning a Dremel 4000 with this super handy Dremel snake. And this thing actually allows me to work much more precise. What am I doing with this thing? I'm sending stuff. Surprise, surprise. Mainly EVA foam. A Dremel is just perfect to add beveled edges, move out seams, add textures and just sand all the things. All the things. Whee! There are one million different tips, like here, and every single of them gives you new opportunities to use your Dremel. You can saw, you can polish, you can sand, you can carve, whatever, but I have my favorite and this is the standard sanding drum. So get a Dremel, it costs only $20 and it will be your most important tool for crafting costumes. And no, sanding paper doesn't replace a Dremel. Get one, now, please. Number six is the soldering iron. Yay! If you want to add fancy electronics and cool light effects to a costume, this handy $10 tool is a must. You need this tool to glue all the wires and electronical parts together, but a soldering iron is also super handy to work with EVA foam and even fabrics. Number seven, the sewing machine. I absolutely love my sewing machine as much as I hate it. I'm not a fan of sewing, but if you want to get into cosplay, sewing is actually quite a skill you have to learn at a point. You can surely sew everything by hand or hot glue it together, which I actually never did. But the sewing machine is a very handy tool to work nice and clean and fast and it just makes so many things so much more easier. 
My own sewing machine is a Brother Innovis 550, which is a little bit more pricey. But when I got into cosplay, I just bought a simple machine for $100 and it did the job for quite a few years. If you get a new machine though, just make sure it has a zigzag stitch and a stretch stitch. These will be quite handy for your own costume. Whoa, 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 whoa. <sighs> Number 8. The dress form. A dress form is actually super handy not only when you're sewing costumes but also if you're creating armor pieces. I luckily have a quite exact European size 38 just as my dress form. So I'm even able to create patterns for armor pieces as well as fabric parts directly on this thing here. Not everybody is so lucky though, however there are plenty of helpful tutorials on YouTube which shows you how to create your own duct tape mannequin based on your own body size. Number 9. The airbrush. While you can surely paint everything by hand, an airbrush makes the whole painting process so much faster and easier. Especially if you're running out of time and try to finish your costume in the middle of the night in just a few hours. So, while you can do this and it takes forever to dry, you just do this and it dries instantly. In addition, the color application is super smooth, thin and dries really, really fast. Just make sure to get a double action pistol. This thing actually gives you full control of how you paint your armor and props. We spent for our airbrush $80 on eBay and it was totally worth the investment. And number 10, safety equipment. Wow! <laughs> and last but not least, your cosplay helper. He does all the things you can't or don't want to do. Super handy! If you need more tips on cosplay creation, just check out my cosplay crafting books on comicosplay.com. Yay! And what are your favorite cosplay crafting tools? Just let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, just like and subscribe and see you next time. Bye bye!